Hi. So let's get started with understanding more about C programming. Uh, what you can see on the screen is typically called as a hello world program in C language. And uh, instead of uh, uh, going through the theoretical approach, we'll go from a direct practical approach and try to understand by looking at the screen itself what it means. So the first line that you see is hash include stdio.h. This is called as a directive which is used to include any additional library into your C program. If you don't use the function out of that library, for example, printf is a function out of this library. So if you don't use any function of the, out of this library, then it is very well that you don't write this line. It is completely fine. <laughs> Why I'm telling you this thing is because if tomorrow you go to do some embedded system programming, then you will not see hash include stdio.h because uh, an embedded system doesn't necessarily have a keyboard and uh, a monitor to include the input output. So standard input output library is not applicable for embedded systems. For now, let's try to understand it or let's try to understand the C structure, programming structure on a computer perspective. Then void main or this main is primarily the entry into your program. So whenever you run your program, your program will always run or always start executing inside this void main. There is no other place it will execute. It will in start executing inside void main. Now let's see one of the programs. So let's keep this hash include stdio.h and uh, let's see what is this function. So printf is a formatted print function which is run or which is used like this. So you write printf and then you open and close a double quotation mark, give a semicolon by the end of every executable line in C and write the statement over here. So this is my trial with C coding. Slash n is an operator which can print new line onto the computer screen. Let's keep it as it is and let's do the build and run. This is my trial with C coding. You can see that. Now it's okay. This is just an output. Now, how do we accept input? So this is the structure. You just understand this with C. Whatever you write is written in this curly braces. If you write anything out of the curly brace, let's see what happens. We got an error because this is written outside of the curly bracket. Every executable statement in C will always be within curly braces. Maybe it will be the main function or maybe it will be some other function that you have written for some other purpose. But always every executable will be inside curly brackets and will have a semicolon by the end of it. That is the bare bone C uh, programming structure. Now let's try to understand some data types. Now what exactly is data types? Let me see. So data type is something which is used to hold your data into the memory of your computer. Now memory of your computer doesn't mean the hard disk of your computer. It means the RAM of your computer. Whenever the program runs on computer, the program is executed inside the RAM or random access memory. And there, let's say I want to perform addition of two numbers. So I want to have a memory space or some location some placeholder to store those two numbers in order to store such numbers or any data what we use in c programming is data types and they need to be declared very well before we start with the code currently i will not go into the size of the data types i will just use one data type it is called as int and i will try to do something with it let's see how do we use int So you use your data type like this. So int a comma b comma c, whatever it is, you can declare like that. Then you can write a value into it. So a is equal to, let's say 58, int means integer. I'll just say that for now. b is equal to 74 and c is equal to, let's say a plus b. That's just a mathematical operation I did. Now this is my tutorial with C coding. That's the first thing we printed. Now I want to print the value of A and B also and C also. Let's see. So to print the values of A, B and C, 
we write the program like this. So, printf addition of percent %d percent %d is specifier when you want to print an integer inside a C printf statement. So, addition of percent %d plus percent %d is equal to percent %d. The first value is an integer, so percent %d. Second value is also an integer, so percent %d. And the third value is also an integer, so percent %d. And then here, you simply pass on those three variables in the exact order you want them to be printed. So first I want to print A, next I want to print B, and next I want to print C. So A, comma B, comma C. That's it. So we print the addition of A, B, and C. Let's give a new line here also, so that on that command window we can see the result better. Code is done. Let's build and run. Addition of 58 plus 74 is equal to 132. You see that? Now see, if I don't print it correctly, then my program is correct. But my output may be not correct. So if I pass on C first, B later and A last, then it will be printed in the same fashion. Okay? It will not do favorites. It will not try to understand what you want to do. And it will just print it the way you have given it. So computer programming is actually dumb. The human has to make it intelligent. Build and run. Addition of 132 plus 74 is 58. That's definitely not true. But the compiler didn't give you any errors. This is a logical error. However, if you miss something, let's say if I give single quote over here, instead of double quote to end it, I give single quote. Then see, compiler gave me an error. Missing terminating character. So here I should check it. Then if I miss semicolon for example somewhere, then if I run the program, it says expected semicolon before printf. So compiler will try to tell you where you have mistaken. If sometimes let's say you have wrongly written a function. So instead of printf, I wrote only print. Then Undefined reference to print. It means what the compiler cannot understand what is the meaning of print. So, therefore, print f. Getting it? So, this is how a basic uh, addition of two numbers is done. Percent %d is used to specify an integer while printing your result using printf statement. However, let me save it. Addition of ints. addition of int. Now let me save it in another way, addition of float I will call it. Now if you have a number which is a floating point value and if you are trying to save it in int and if you are trying to print a result out of it, then see. If I build and run it, 5.8 and 7.4 that's what I have given but it's printing something completely different. So this is not what we want. Okay. So it didn't give you any error but your result is totally wrong. Now to deal with this what you have to do is here you will change the int to float and here the print specifier you will change it from percent %d to percent %f. F is for float printing. Now let's give it in the correct order A, B and C. So this is a floating point variable A, B and C and this is how you will do the floating point addition and this is how you will print the float numbers in C. Let's build and run. 5.8 plus 7.4 is equal to 13.2000 something whatever it is. Getting it? So just try out with these two programs and just get comfortable with C. We are going to understand few more things in the upcoming class. That's it for this session. See you in the next video. Thank you.